Assalamu alaikum sir, my name is Ajay Vaishnav. I am working in your catering in VIP, uh, VIP launch. My question is from my family that everyone in all the books it's written that gods are same and God is one. When I say you Salaam alaikum, you can say me that Hari Om or oh, Hari Om Shanti. Salaam alaikum means that maybe peace on you and Om Shanti means that maybe peace on you then why can't you say that that om shanti brother asked the question that we say salaamu means peace be on you om shanti also means peace be on you shanti is no problem om is a problem <laughs> what is the problem sir the om om people the hindus think that that is god om shanti no problem if i translate Assalamu alaikum go, aap shanti ho, no problem. Shanti is no problem, peace is no problem, salam is no problem. The problem is Om. What we have to realize that if we want, we say, may peace be on you, we are requesting Allah for that. Om is another concept which people have a different concept about Om. So if you say, may God's peace be on you, no problem. But the moment you say Om, people may start having a negative picture. Oh, is it about Hinduism? Is it about a God something? Maybe having idol. So because to divert, not to divert, it's better to be clear. So only saying Shanti is no problem. In Arabic we say Assalamu Alaikum. May peace be on you in English. Or Aap Shanti Ho. The moment you add that Shanti somebody else will give you besides Creator, then there's a problem. So I hope peace is on you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank I you hope that you live in peace. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Hi. The next Thank question is from the brother in the red. Quick question, quick answers, inshallah. Yes. Namaste. My question is this. Can you add a name, please? Yes, my name is J.P. Kharge. My question is short, relating to the earlier question pertaining to the non veg food. What are the effects? on the mind of the human being. Brother asking the question, what are the effects on the minds of a human being by having non-veg food? Yes. And there are various researches done. And some people come and tell me, as a, scientifically it's healthy. Effect on the body, good muscles, good body, healthy, can be longer. Many, you can see my debate on is non veg food permitted or private for a, for a human being. As far as the question, I, I think you may be trying to hint that there's a research which says that what food you have has an effect on your behavior. So if you eat animals, then you start behaving like animals. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. I am asking what are the effects? on the thinking of the human being. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. That there's one research which says that if you eat food, animals, you start behaving like animals. Means the effect is of animals. There is a research which says what you eat has an effect on a behavior. So that's the reason we Muslims, we are allowed to eat only peace-loving animals like cow, goat, sheep, because we are peace-loving human beings. We are not permitted to have the ferocious animal like tiger, lion, leopard, because we don't want to be violent. So even if I agree with this research, I would like to say that Muslims are peace-loving. As far as health is concerned, it is very healthy. If a person has some medical problem, having certain non veg food is problematic. Like that, even veg food is problematic. The food, the food that causes maximum death in the world, it is alcohol. Is alcohol veg or non-veg, brother? Alcohol is veg or non-veg? Yes. Veg. Pardon? V alcohol is veg or non-veg? I am preparing vegetarian food. Alcohol is veg or non-veg, brother? Alcohol is vegetarian or non-vegetarian food? Veg. Veg. veg food. The maximum death in the world by any food, it is by vegetarian food, alcohol. Number two death maximum is because of smoking. Smoking, tobacco, veg or non-veg? That is the non-veg. Tobacco is veg or non-veg? Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage is veg. Not cabbage, tobacco, tobacco. Tobacco is the non-veg. Tobacco is non-veg. You I get from man. Veg, this is the vegetable. Vegetarian, correct. 
So maximum death that take place in the world is because of alcohol number one, vegetarian. Tobacco number two, vegetarian. So there's more problem in vegetarian food in the world than non-veg food. If you have certain problems, medical, there may be certain non-veg food which may be helpful, but more harm in the world is because of vegetarian food. So what is harmful? Quran says banned. Quran doesn't ban all vegetables. Quran bans alcohol. Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 90. And even smoking. Surah Bakra chapter 2 verse 195. Because it is slow poisoning. So whatever is wrong should be banned. Al Quran does not ban all vegetables. For more details, refer to my video cassette. Is, is non-veg food permitted or prohibited for a human being? Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you. Brothers and sisters are requested to please hold on. We are also going to have a dua after the next question is handled by Dr. Zakir. Yes, sister. Please hold on patiently for a few minutes more. Yes, sister. No non-Muslim sisters at this microphone. Uh, any, any sister, sister at the microphone? Brother, we don't, we don't have any non-Muslim sisters at this microphone. Any, 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 <laughs> you had a no, 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 no. My name is Kailash. I am an atheist. My question is, why do Muslims believe that Jesus is born without any biological father when there is a Quran uh, says that Allah says that he is the originator of a heaven and earth. How come he can have a son without any consort? May I ask the question? that Muslims believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born without any biological father. father. But the Quran says, how shall, he, how shall Almighty God have a son when he doesn't have a concert, he doesn't have a wife? That's the Quran says. So these are normal things the Quran says. As far as the miracle of Isa alayhi salam, Quran says in Suleh al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 47, when Maryam alayhi salam says, Mother Mary, that how shall I have a son when no man, no man has touched me? The reply comes back, Angel Gabriel, When Allah decrees the matter, He just said to it, be and it is. Similarly, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 59, Allah says, The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah is like Adam. That He was created from dust and said be and it was. So what we realize that Almighty God normally by nature human beings are born by mother and father. But to show the power of Allah that he can create even without a mother, <laughs> even without a father, the example is Isa alayhi salam. Another miracle Allah did, created a human being without mother or father that is Adam peace be upon him. But the verse of the Quran saying that Almighty God doesn't have a son. Neither does he have a concert. It means neither does he have a wife. And furthermore, Quran also says that if Allah begot a son, say, I would be the first person to bow down to him. That doesn't mean Allah has a son. It's saying that there's no question of Allah begetting because begetting is an animal act. It is function of lower animals of sex. That's the reason Allah will not beget. Allah does not require a wife also. Wife is required by us human beings. Mating is the function of no animal of sex. So these <coughs> verses of the Quran, that if Allah has a son, I would be the first to born, is negating that Allah can never have a son. Neither does Allah require a wife. So these are concepts of the Quran trying to say, don't belittle Allah by saying, Almighty God has a wife or has a son. It is not the dignity of Allah who is so gracious to have a son or to have a wife. Wa akhiru dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.